the real purpose of art and artists uh, in a people is is to make material the intangible it's to give a vision record history but also give a vision to a people and, and the beauty of the last colonial meal by Calvert Jones it's is its ability to make us realize how the struggles of so many different peoples are actually all related. There's a continuum in the struggle, in the mindset, in the goals. And the picture, the vibrant colors of the painting makes us realize this ain't history, it's alive, it's happening, it's happening now. And makes us want to participate and get our personally, get a seat at the table and continue that struggle. So just like the Last Supper with Jesus was really the beginning of something, right? The, the disciples were going to start the movement. The same way the people sitting at the last colonial meal are people who started something at different times. Um, but still they were on onward march towards decolonization. And they did it in different ways. Some of these people are free, literally freed people. Others freed countries, established nations, started organization meant to uplift or to reform. All these um, different angles um, to, to reform us, to undo what colonialism has done to us as a people. And um, to see that, yes, in fact, this is the same struggle that has been going on for years and people are just passing on the baton and then it's time for us to figure out personally what will be our contribution to this ongoing struggle. We were part of a colonial empire that involved not only St. Vincent and the Caribbean but the United States, Africa and um, the characters who are depicted in this painting are, are very important in, in that link between all of these groups. Having Joseph Chatoyer, who was the last Garifuna chief in St. Vincent and who is now the first recognized national hero of the island in a painting like The Last Colonial Meal is very important for the legacy of the indigenous people of St. Vincent and in the region. Even after their exile from St. Vincent to Central America in 1797, they joined the Spanish troops and they met another group of black chiefs that were coming from Santo Domingo the year before called the Negros Franceses. Despite their allegiance to the Spanish, the alliance between the Black Caribs and the Negros Franceses and their revolutionary ideas that forged their identity remained strong and led them to join other troops including Simon Bolivar on his journey to free South America. Bringing all of these characters together the helps to helps us to see the kind of link between all of them. I mean, what does, what does Chateauier have to do with Marcus Garvey and have to do with, with all of these others? So the conversation in that sense broadens. And the, the whole issue of the colonial meal is very, is very important in that um, all of these people were in a sense struggling ag against colonialism. The struggle continues. When you look at Bob Walk from, from when he starts his journey up to where he left us, you know, and his music, his music was about love, upliftment, you know, togetherness. And when you look at this painting, it's, it's the same. 